All right, we're ready to start streaming uh, Superstar Saga. So uh, let's begin playing this Mario game. Wow, that was weird. I don't remember that sound effect being in Mario, but I guess it's something we're just going to have to get used to. I'm sure we'll be hearing a lot of that in m the next Mario Kart game. Um, anyway... Listen, it's just the reality we have to live with now. We have to live with it. We live in this world. I want to go back to the other universe. Um, so, <laughs> last time on Superstar Saga, Luigi got hypnotized into thinking he's Mario. So now he's Mario. And, uh, we have to go to, to the fucking Chuckle, Chuckle Buck Cuck Woods and find uh, the cure. It's your fault I was forced into this timeline. Alright, so where do we go? How do we get there? This is the Baron Stoon universe. Yes, we are there. Um, if you're curious about my thoughts on E3 and you're watching this on YouTube, I talked about it all in the Isaac stream that should be uploaded. I think it's part 11. I think? I don't know. Whichever, whatever the most recent Isaac stream is accompanying this video. Wait, if, Mar if he thinks he's Mario and he sees Mario laying there, is he gonna have like a fucking crisis in his mind? Luigi, you're our only hope. Wow, Luigi. Your face, your... You are face. Looks so much more manly. Crabby grass is said to grow in the depths of the Gaffa ruins. Gaffaha ruins. You'll find the ruins if you just head due west from town. You are. Alright. How does Bill Trinan still have a job after this? After this blunder? Alright, so we'll head west, I guess. That's a rabbit. That's how it's gonna go. His his scream is gonna come in right there at that part. Is it this way or the other? No, this is a teleporter. Bill Trinan got fired, remember? Oh yeah, he doesn't work there anymore. Wow, that's quite a commotion over there. I wonder what it is. Did you hear the legend himself during E3? Oh yeah, Bill Trinan was on stage. Bill Trinan is one of my favorite dudes in the world. He is such a cool guy. He's so great. I love old Bill. Go back down the elevator, then head west. Gotcha. Are you going to Teehee Valley? Yup. What did you think of Monster Hunter? Alright, I guess we'll do some reiterating, um, because I did a little bit of this as Isaac. I was really excited about Monster Hunter, even though it looks very different, and that's something a lot of people are not into. I'm willing to give it a shot, and it, when it was first revealed, I was like, fuck, I'm gonna have to buy a PS4. But then, it's, you know, it's not exclusive, I can get it on PC, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. Is he better than Left 4 Dead Bill? Remember last year? During E3 when Bill Trinan retweeted a fucking Brazzers joke? With 1-2 Switch in the milk? Bill Trinan's the man. <laughs> I love that guy. I really do. Like, if I could meet anyone at Nintendo, it would probably be Bill. Well, aside from, like, Miyamoto, of course. He did! There, someone, someone put a Brazzers logo on one of the gameplay clips from, uh... Of, of milk from 1-2 Switch, and he fucking retweeted it. I study Japanese, and Bill Trinan is like a role model. Well, I'm, I'm like, starting the studying process, and he's, he's a cool guy, like, you know? He's just, he's a very chill guy who seems to, except for that one time he threatened to destroy the entire Earth. Remember that? In 30 days, the Earth will be no more. His words. Yeah, Monster Hunter looks cool. It's it's very different. Very different. It very well could be very shitty. But I want to try it. Wasn't there more music in Smash from Rhythm Heaven or the Mario RPGs? Why isn't there more? Yeah, I agree. Oh shit, isn't this a boss? Oh shit, I should, probably shouldn't have done that. That thing had a face. It might have been alive, Luigi. 
Oops. What exactly am I doing here? Luigi, you're just gonna go with this? You're just gonna... Alright, don't hit it when it's red. Gotcha. What? I'm hitting this! There we go. Well, they could remix the songs. Strike two! You're out, Luigi! Mike is reminded of his Little League days. Guys, wouldn't it be funny if you put dab after every message you made, haha? -ha? You say that now, but wait till you see Mario Rabbit's game. Then you'll know. Then you'll know the error of what you just said, and how terrible it could truly be. Boy, it sure is convenient that this section Luigi has to go through on his own has only Luigi-centric things. Get you and your giraffe to do Wii Play. That might be the, the best comment I've seen in a month. <laughs> Get you and your giraffe to do Wii Play. <laughs> oh, this is like really weird because when you're out on the field, you jump with A because Luigi's on his own, but then in the battle, you have to jump with B. It's strange. But anyway, we didn't really... Since last stream was like all, or last game was all... E3 talk. How are you guys tonight? How's your day been? Yo -ho! Too bad giraffes won't be speaking to me anymore. Too bad giraffes is gone. Watching you jump on spear enemies makes me cringe. Well, prepare for the cringe. You'd think it wouldn't work. Which is weird because there are, like, you can't jump on some spike enemies. Unless I'm wearing, am I wearing the spike badge? I don't think I am. I think I'm wearing the fucking auto heal badge. Oh yeah, I, <laughs> I don't usually advertise my other streams, but if you are, if you're watching this and you haven't watched the Left 4 Dead 2 stream from last night, you, you owe it to yourself, my dude. That was a good goddamn stream. That's like in the top five streams of all time. It was so good. It was so fucking funny. I didn't even- I don't even- I'm not even sure. No, I know you meant cringe in terms of the real definition. I think I could tell. Um, the, uh, it was just so- it was so weird. I don't even know if it was real. I don't- I felt like it wasn't real. That one moment that- that was like a summary of the entire thing was when I was laying- or like all three of us were downed except for Toaster Man. Ellis's dad is in the background talking about how much he has to fart, and then he starts howling. And Toaster Man is up, throwing grenades, like, chucking grenades at all of us, just yelling, WHAT MAKES ME A GOOD DEMO MAN?! And I was just like, I couldn't fucking handle what was going on. It was overload. It was sensory overload. It was so weird, I couldn't fucking handle it. <laughs> it was overload. Would you ever make a highlight compilation of that stream? I gotta do more highlights. I haven't done highlights in a while. In like a year. What is that enemy? Oucher glass. Like our, but ouch, because it's, <laughs> it's a villain? This problem can be solved without villains. Who called Toaster Man Joshua? I did. When he was, when he was... When it was just Toaster Man and me and we abandoned Ellis and Sun Bunny, I was like, I wanted them to keep up, so I just yelled Joshua at him, and he's like, WHAT?! I still don't think Down Under Dan Highlights Part 2 would be good, because it really, the all of the good moments, there were like a couple good moments in the other parts, but most of the good moments were in the first part. It was so funny. We gotta do more of those. We have to do more of those. We should just go through all the campaigns. 
and all the custom campaigns. Splash Mountain. You said part two at the end of part one, Kappa. I said maybe, Kappa. Yeah, that, I mean, the funniest part in the game was arguably in the last stream when Dan was like, I'm getting tired of this, think I'll take the shortcut. That was probably the funniest thing in the whole game. So I don't know. I don't know. Didn't I, I, did, I didn't say maybe? I think I did. Maybe I don't, maybe I didn't. Please don't say Kappa IRL, it makes me die inside. You know what I hate when you're like looking at, at comments on, I just want to see what's over here. Just like make sure. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else over here. Um, Quaker, thanks for the sub. 14 months is... Man, I've been doing this for a while now, haven't I? Um, what was I going to say? Oh, it's the worst when you're like looking in comment sections on like YouTube or other places and people write Kappa. It's like fucking... Up. Fuck off. You're not on Twitch, lad. Get the fuck... Back to Twitch if you're gonna be saying that. When I see Kappa, it reminds me of Kappa Mikey. Don't get Reg started on Kappa Mikey. He downloaded the whole series and he wants me to watch it with him. I use Twitch emotes in YouTube comments. Dingle! It's not even funny on Twitch. It's funny if you use the Panutes Kappa logo. That's a good one. I like that one. That's good. That's a funny joke. What if I'm referring to the yokai? Then it's okay. Do you remember that time the Kappa yokai showed up in fucking Arthur? It was weird. Arthur was weird. Wait a minute. No, I have to hit the red one. The big red one. Call of Duty, big red one. Call of Duty, big red one. I Justine. I Justine, Call of Duty, Battlefield 1. Alright, I have to get over there. I have to hit the green one. You're you making you're making me regret saying Kappa on my part two comment. Ha! <laughs> we all make mistakes, Kappa. I feel you. All right, so now I have to hit the green again. I have to hit green again. So I have to hit this. Gotcha. Big red one. Nani? I gotta go hit the fucking green one again. Wait a minute. I have to hit the green one again. <laughs> I'm gonna be stuck here for a while. Alright, that's good. Now, I need, I need the red one, I think, right? I need to get up there, so I have to hit the big red one, which is over here. No, wait. Wait! Hit green, then blue. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, then I can go up here. There we go. Gotcha. Do you know what the best part of the Mario Rabbids trailer was? Was when uh, the Peach Rabbit was doing a backflip and she took a bunch of selfies. That was so funny. I LOL'd really hard. Luigi. I wish I could roll my R's like Luigi. Thunder! 
I was expecting a dab and it didn't end in a dab, so that almost made me happy. Like, I almost was, was pleased with the game at that moment in time. I feel like Rayman and Gru from Despicable Me would get along really well. Like, I feel like they'd have a lot to talk about. Okay, you wanna just keep doing this? That's fine. How did you feel about Nintendo bringing Petey back from the dead for this game? First of all, alright, a few things. One, Petey was not dead. Everyone thinks Petey's been dead. Petey's been in games recently, like very recently. I think he was in Color Splash. I think maybe Color Splash was his most recent game, but Petey's been around. He's been around. And second of all, do not call that rabid Petey. He was not Petey, he was just a rabid wearing a Petey costume. Petey died in Brawl. No, stop. PD is canonically dead. No, Color Splash had PT Piranha. Alright, I forgot. It's the same character, but with the T bag. This gets funny. He was in Paper Jam, too, yeah. Is PD a boy or a girl? Actually, in Japan, I think PD is a girl. He died in Paper Jam. Petey dies all the time. He melted twice in Sunshine. He just always comes back. Always comes back. I don't know. Maybe Rabbids... I mean, the gameplay could be good. Maybe it'll come out and it'll be great. Hey, Mr. Mustache. I'm amazed you have come so... Wait, this voice doesn't work at all. Hey, hey, Mr. Mustache. I'm amazed you have come so far. Word has spread in town. I have become a horrible and despicably frightening monster. Why does everybody spread rumors they know nothing about? That makes me furious. It's so annoying, it tears up my insides. Oh, you could help, Mr. Mustache. Please, release, help me release my stress that ails me so. All you must do is dodge my flames for 30 seconds. What do you say? Will you ease my pain? Yeah, sure. Get out. Yeah, I don't I don't want to read that. Mike, you're going to fuck up your voice. I don't care. Easy. This is like a fucking never mind. <laughs> Should've just been a regular boss. We could potentially see more Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon tomorrow during the treehouse. I didn't actually see who- if someone answered me, I didn't see it in chat, but isn't the- is the treehouse really only one day this year? Oh, fuck. I did it. Success. Oh, many thanks. That really let off a lot of stress. It feels like my soul has at last been released. It's three days? I hope so. It's always been three days, but I heard it was one day this year. Thank you, mustachioed one. You can now go. Because the treehouse is honestly one of my favorite parts of E3. I just love relaxing and watching all these games. And the people at the treehouse are always really, really cool. They're like fun. I like them. You got the Krabby Grass. I did it! You might... You mentioned you might revisit Dead Space. Will that be sometime soon? It could be. I think I'll probably take a little break from horror games after uh, Outlast, but it could come up relatively soon. What if they add the Rabbids version of all the Mario Universe characters to Brawl? You mean Smash? I'm ex I, I could see Rabbids being in, in uh, Mario Kart as DLC. What if they show Mario Kart 8 
Deluxe DLC tomorrow, and it's got Rabbids, like, to promote the new game. Because it's coming out soon. I don't know if you guys knew that, but the, the Rabbids game is coming out in August. How do I get back up there? Pre-purchase Rabbids and Mario Kingdom Battle. Uh-oh. What happened? Luigi, are you okay? Has there ever been a Super Mario Land thing outside of Super Mario Land? Super Mario Land characters in an RPG would be rad. A lot of things from fucking... They should do more crossovers with this whole universe. Bring more of the RPG characters out of the RPGs and bring more, like, obscure stuff in. What? You don't know what you've been doing? Oh, he got struck by light, now he remembers. Don't you remember? I heard you went to Kavar Ruins to get Krabby Grass for Mario! D did you really get the Krabby Grass? Huh? Hmm? Have you seen Double Fine's new game that is Harvest Moon, but you grow Pokemon instead? Yeah, I'm actually really interested in that. It, it really is Krabby Grass! Go into the frightful and dangerous Kafab Ruins all by yourself! Luigi, how incredibly courageous you are! You know, Luigi, I never... never really realized how attractive you are, Luigi. You wanna go out for dinner? You got anything planned for after your adventure, Luigi? Surely you'll be a legend in this town. By the way, what do you think of the thunderous noise was? Could something have happened at the embassy? Luigi, shouldn't you be rushing to Mario's side? Oh, yeah. Luigi's like, no, bitch. I got Prince Peasley to worry about. Luigi. P Princess Peach, she's... Uh-oh. Fawful? Bowser? Eh? Oh, is this... I thought Bowletta was introduced later. Yes, this is it. Bowletta. So what... what... Excuse me? Bowser? Oh, I think you're sorely mistaken. I'm... Bowletta! That was a Mario voice clip. That oh well he still does he still think he's Mario? I thought he stopped thinking he was Mario. Cacletta's power has poured into the Koopa King. Koopa who is king? The body of the Bowser, but the mind is all of the great Cacletta. <laughs> yeah, he he has breasts now. I need no voice in this time, I'll just steal the real deal! <laughs> Oh no! Good night, Wolf. I can say good night to Wolf, right? That's not a meme that people will make fun of me for. What do you guys think happened to Bowser's consciousness? Mario, the, the princess. Master Mario, Master Luigi, awful things transpired while you were off doing who knows what. It looks like my hobbies will have to be shelved once again. Your Highness, Bowser, no, Cacletta, uh, I mean Bowletta has a mess, a message has arrived. Here, you can play it on my Game Boy Advance. <laughs> you puny little worms are no match for me now. I'm only going to say this once, so listen up. If you want your precious princess to return safely, bring me the four pieces of the Bean Star. I will contact you again once the Bean Star is complete. Oh my! How has it come to this? It seems we played out our hand, played our hand out, only to find the game is not over. There is little we can do now. For now, we must gather the bean star pieces as Bowletta demands. Luckily, I know the general areas that the pieces fell in, so it shouldn't be too hard to find them. 
Wow, you really are on top of this, huh, Peasley? I've marked the areas where the pieces fell. I bet Luigi wishes Peasley was on top of him. Who will gather the pieces first? The esteemed Mario Brothers or me? I will get... I bet I will get 99 quadrillion, 999 trillion, 999 billion, 999,999 mushroom coins that it will be me. He's into it. He likes it. He likes it. You know? It's just, you know, this is the happiest Luigi's ever been in this game. And I, I support it. You know, if this is, you know, best anime couple right here. Do not scoff, for I do not intend to lose. <laughs> oh, Luigi. Oh, Luigi. The game is afoot. Master Mario, Master Luigi, we're counting on you. Heed my directions well, and you'll quickly find the Bean Star piece that landed in Teehee Valley. I recommend going to find this Bean Star piece first. I must say, my senses have been referred to as strangely keen. Why the fuck is this game so sexual? This is something that we've brought up. We've brought this up. I never really thought about it, but chat really opened my eyes to how many fetishes are explored in this series. Can we please have a blushing Luigi emote? That could happen. Mike, the border? Oh, no, there's a... It's... Hold on. It should be fine. The, uh... The castle has some, like, black bars on the sides of it inside. This isn't a kink. This is love. Good night, Dingle. Thanks for stopping by. Oh, my air conditioner just turned off, and now it sounds super quiet. Can you guys tell the difference? So we gotta go to Teehee Valley, I guess. Can we have some ASMR Prince Peasley roleplay? Nope. Thanks for asking, though. I appreciate that you asked instead of demanded. So, thanks. Thanks. Alright, so we have to find, uh... We have to find those things. We're gonna go to name on off. All right, let's go to Teehee Valley. Yeah, it's fucking brutal outside. It was so hot. Wait, Teehee Valley's this way. Understandable, have a nice day. Beans kind of look like the flaccid Venus. The Flaccid Venus. Mike, can you define... Can you define ASMR? You know, I don't even know what ASMR stands for. It's Audio... Stimulation... Oh no. Oh, no. Audio sound... Audio... I don't know what it stands for. Audio sensory something or other. Ass Super Mario RPG. <laughs> Audio sensory meridian response. Okay. Autonomous sensory meridian response. Autonomous, not audio. Okay. Basically, ear orgasms, in layman's terms. Oh wait, I think it's maybe this way. Which one, which one is officially Teehee Valley? Because there was more places we couldn't have gone over there, but I think we can make it now. You know what fucked me up is, you remember those, like, 3D audio files? Did you guys ever do that one where you put on, like, nice headphones and then you, it's like a virtual barber haircut? That shit is so weird. It makes me, like, so f afraid. So 
so this is Teehee Valley, huh? I wonder if it w would work on stream if I played it for you guys. I wonder if it would work. Let's see. Let's see. Do you guys got headphones on? If you got headphones on, let's see. Virtual haircut, 3D sound. Close your eyes. Ten years ago this was uploaded. All right. Close your eyes. Hello there, hello there. How are you? Yes, yes. You are here for the virtual haircut? Yes, yes, okay. I will go get Luigi. He will come and cut your hair. <laughs> Luigi! I, 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 well, just, just stay right there. Uh, Luigi! Luigi! Uh, Luigi! It's Matt Lander. Uh, the person is here for your virtual haircut. You better come up. He is coming up right now, and meanwhile I will go over here and play the music, play the guitar, because that is what I do here at the barber shop. Um. Ah, it's so nice to see you. Welcome to the Starkey Cetera Barber Shop, and your virtual haircut. I'd like to start the demonstration by moving over to your right-hand side and picking up this bag. If you just hold still for a second, I'll put this bag over your head. Just like that. The bag over the top of the head. And now I'll take the bag off. There we go. The only reason I did that is because all of the fancy barbershops do that. What you're listening to as I move off to your right here and very quickly wash my hands. Manuel, would you get that, please? Yes, Ah, oh, thank you, Manuel. Let me finish washing my hands. Luigi suffocates you ASMR. <laughs> okay, can I stop now? Can I stop now? The whole thing's like five minutes long. This I just gave you two minutes of it. It's it's crazy though, right? Really, really fucking weird. <laughs> it's so fucked up just uh I'm not gonna keep going it's five minutes long you can look it up you can look it up it's weird just look up virtual haircut it's the first result there's other ones too please put it on I was about to come alright well now I'm definitely not putting it back on Bean. It's uh, it, the first time I heard that, I almost had a fucking heart attack. You're giving me blue ears. <laughs> You're giving me blue ears. <laughs> All right, we have to find out how to fuck to to get this bean. I asked them if they want the bean. They both say yes. My head physically hurts now. Yeah, it's really fucking weird! Mike Orgasm Denier. It's called edging, my friend. Luigi fucking puts a bag over your head. Like, what are the odds that it was Luigi? I didn't remember that it was a guy named Luigi. Every swirl in the ground is a... Not this one. My friends and I would listen to those audio files in high school that would make you feel high after listening to them for 10 minutes. I never tried those. I saw them, but I never tried them. I was always afraid those would like fuck my ears up. Not this one. Shimamura did music for this game and also did Radiant Historia and some tracks for Xenoblade. Shimamura is a legend. Shimamura still does music for this series, I believe. She's an incredibly talented person. Also, I think this is some Kong lore in here, so buckle up. I know that I might be overloading you with Kong lore today, after, you know, the Rabbids, Kong, and now this, but... Hey, there's the Beanstar. 
Whoa, is this the thing that fell from the sky and crashed into the hatch with a big old thud? It's gotta be. And thanks to that, the hatch is broken. This is terrible. But hey, whoa! Just look at this thing sparkle and shine. I don't know what this is. Looks like a glowing cock. Hey, they just... Why didn't Mario and Luigi intervene? Why didn't they just intervene? They could have said, hey. Whoa! Check it out. Look like a talking penis. Why did my Scaramouche just sound like Peter Griffin a little bit? Listen up, this'll shock you. This ship is the world renowned as says Chocola, uh huh? We're hauling Chocola Cola, you hear me? Shocking, huh? Yeah. I'm not even gonna try it. Oh, friggin' sweet, Lois. I got the, the Chocola Cola. That guy bloat down in the hole drank too much Chocola Cola. His bones got all soft and flabby, and they can't get him off the wall. Okay. I don't think that's, uh... Oh my god, I went downstairs to make tea, and I found a fucking fidget spinner. What do you, what do you mean, you found a fucking fidget spinner? Those don't just appear. So, just when you think the big, great SS Chocola is gonna head down out to sea anyway, I'm sick of waiting. These guys don't even know they're fucking dead. Is that the thing? I think they might not know they're dead. Old Bloat is- oh wait, no, yes they do. Old Bloat is even more of an Ostaf than Ostaf. Wait a minute, that's Fatso backwards. And everyone's saying the crack in the wall is gradually getting bigger and bigger. What's that? Don't know what an Ostaf is. Sheesh, it's simple. Try spelling it backwards. <laughs> of course. Of course. Oh, you're such an Ostaf. Oh, you don't know what it means? Just spell it backwards, you idiot. Of course. Hey, I need that. Frozen Ostaf. Hey, the storage area is this way. If you want to get in, you're going to need a membership card for this boat. And if you want a membership card, try doing something that'll help out the boat. Uh-oh. I just can't handle this heavy-duty brain labor! Uh, please quit crying, I swear this is why I hate hiring these workers from out in the sticks. Oh, perfect timing. We're sure some people and we're, um, we're hurting. Yeah, this is a huge jam. You two ready to take on a little work? Great, okay, come in here. I wish... This is how easy it is to get a job, Millennials. Stop complaining. Alright, this is, you know... Alright, so what does this mean? This is the... This is very, very mysterious. Alright? Who the fuck is Bink? Who the fuck is Bink? Who could Bink be? There's several things that Bink... Bink could be Donkey Kong's father. He could be Cranky Kong's father. He could be anyone. He, he, you know, he could be DK's dad because he does have a very similar bone structure. He could be Diddy's father. This could be Donkey Kong's brother. Chunky Kong. Could be. We haven't seen Chunky Kong. Maybe read more, Mike. Well, we'll see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm Bink. Nice to meet you. If you get ten barrel points, you can be my sidekick. You win, I win. We all win. Want a barrel? Explain. Just line up barrels of the same color. Line them either vertically or horizontally. I'll show you how. So give it a try. It's not so difficult. Oh, this looks difficult. Mario, you use... Wait, how does he know my name? I didn't even tell him my name. You use left and right on the control pad. Luigi, you use up and down. Try taking ten steps each. Nani? Nani? Just like that? Next, I'll show you how to move barrels. It's how exciting. Hold the A button and press the control pad up or down to move Mario's vertical line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mario, try moving some barrels. Do not fear them. Hold the A button and press... Why not fear them? That's mysterious. I wasn't gonna fear them. Now it's your turn, Luigi. Hold the A button and press the control pad. 
Bink is Kitty Kong all grown up. Well, it does sound like Binky, and that's like a like a pacifier. Hmm. I'm such a good teacher. I amaze myself sometimes. Why don't you work up a sweat by moving some barrels? I'd like to watch. I'll sit in the corner. Yeah, work up a nice sweat, though. Especially you, in the green. Yes. Practicing. I don't need to practice. I'm, I'm a fucking pro. Oh, this is too hard. Never mind. I can't do this. He's Sumo Kong's nephew. Sumo Kong! It's clear that Bink knows who Mario is, so it's safe to say that he's the Donkey Kong Jr. from the arcade game since Donkey Kong Jr. faced off against Mario. Yeah, but, then why isn't there any animosity? Like, why is- why are they friendly? He has really s small legs and long arms. He has to be related to Lanky. Mario is famous in this game. Even to skeleton monkeys? I did it. It's like a matching puzzle, but its controls are weird. He's at peace now. He no longer holds any grudges. In before game theory steals this content. Why I gave the Pope Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. This is literally Yoshi's Cookie, but worse. Yeah, I don't- I'm not a big fan of this. Like, why is it still practicing? Can I stop? Yeah. If you get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekick! Yes. Well, I want to be a sidekick. That sounds like fun as shit. Binky is- Bink is a chained Kong that was never freed and starved to death. Oh, shit. You might be onto something, dude. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. There we go, that's one. I need ten barrel points. Ten?! I want to be a sidekick, though! I'm not too good at this. If they wanted to make an Arthur that was relatable to, like, YouTubers, Instead of Binky stole my joke, it would be Binky stole my content. Oh my god! He's Kong! You know we heard a good rendition of this song today. You guys want to hear it? I can't show you because you can't pause this, but I would play for you the, the song we heard today. This is so hard for me. <laughs> this is so hard for me. I have a fucking donkey brain. You guys don't want to hear it? It was so good, though. Maybe I'll just get really lucky. A lot of time, Mike. I know. I really want to be his sidekick. I only have a minute left. I think I'm gonna have to give up on this dream, like most of my other dreams. Guess I'll never be a five-star chef, Denny. Just wanted that. That's all I ever wanted. I just wanted to be a baby boy, please. I always wanted to. I feel like I'm finally starting to grasp some of the mechanics and the game's almost over. You have to complete this to progress? Ah, oh. I don't want to do that. We're gonna be playing this again, unless I fucking luck out and get two more. 
Toaster Man here, he must be really upset at this. Mike, what are you doing? It's so easy, you fucking idiot. Hmm, you stop right there. Hmm, hmm, are you really up for this? If you want to be my sidekick, you'll have to... Why is this something that's, like, desirable? Do I want to be this guy's sidekick? I guess. I mean, yeah, sure. Wait a minute, this is easy. I can do this. I can do this. I just fucked up the board last time. This is this is easy. This is easy. Don't worry about it. Actually, no, we didn't hear this song today. Fish Facade, thank you for the host. I never really thank hosts. Unless they're like super, super huge, but I do appreciate them. Speaking of stream related stuff, I was thinking of getting Nightbot. Because I kind of like some of the stuff Nightbot can do, but I, I approved it, but I haven't like set up anything yet. ban words. You can ban words with Twitch def by default. You don't need Nightbot to ban words from Twitch. You can ban whatever words you want. I've thought about banning, like, iCup. But I haven't. It's just, like, for spam protection and stuff. Like, if you keep posting the same paragraph over and over, it, like, mutes you automatically. Shit, two more. It's, uh, it, it might be handy. I don't know. My stream's not, like, it's still not huge, but, you know. I had 400 viewers earlier, and that was, like, without anything particularly special going on. So, I don't know. Could be, could be worth thinking about. Can you imagine if I banned iCup? Can you imagine what a great stream this would be? All the good things that would come of that. Ban feet. Listen, these, like, you know, it's, you know, don't knock it, guys. Don't knock the banning until, don't knock the banning until you, you, you try it. Like, what if, uh, what if we ended up banning feet and it, it made the chat so much better? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Gold barrels. Are those, like, wild cards or is that just a new color I have to deal with? How would we walk? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Good point. Oh ho ho! Not bad, friend of mine. As of today, you are now my new sidekick. Oh shit. Oh, he doesn't have like an overworld sprite? Thanks for your hard work. You really helped us out, fellas. Unfortunately, we can't pay you with cash, so take this instead. You got a membership card. Wow. If you ever need more work, just drop by, alright? We're always happy to welcome hard work and types like you fellas. If Mike banned hands, chat wouldn't fucking exist. I'm sure some people in chat are typing with their feet or their brains. Neural networks hooked up directly to Twitch. So you, uh, you the big boss here? Hey, what's that? You want to know why this old ship is in a desert? Oh, that's cause, uh, see, this is a sunken ship, you know. It, uh, it used to float, and then, well, yeah, it sank. And as time passed and passed, and before anyone knew, the ocean was a desert. In fact, it's been so dang long. Just look at us. We're just bags of bones over here. Pirates are in. I type with my knees, noose, nose. You'll get it. You'll get it eventually. Nose with a Z, I should say. Hmm. 
Good Scott Pilgrim reference, was it? I haven't really delved into any Scott Pilgrim lore. <laughs> I don't know anything about Scott Pilgrim. Remember the epic discussions of pirates versus ninjas back in the day? You can actually live that if you play Chivalry Alt Ninja Ultimate Warrior, whatever the fuck it was called. I had fun with Chivalry. It was fun for a while. Um, can I go up here? Hmm... 3D sound. Pirates are in this year. It's fucking great. I wonder why. Why are pirates in? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm fine. I have to get into the, the room with, uh, with the, the o OTAF. Hey Mike, just wanted to say I'm proud of you for not starting your stream with Hey Kids the last couple weeks. Keep it up. All right. Oh, look at that! You got a membership card right there. Whoa! Now that I know, I ought to be able to remember you by sight. Come on in. Zombies are fucking finally going out slowly. Ready for the pirate reign for the next 20 years. Are they though? There were several zombie games at E3 this year. Bringing this sparkly thing that uh, to the hole was a good idea, but where do we put it? Whoa, is Reg a mod now? No, don't panic, it's not real. Whoa, what's that? You say this sparkly thing is a piece of the bean star? Oh, yeah. And you say you two came here looking for it? Oh, yeah. mm, really? You want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you, but I gotta tell you, this thing busted our hatch. I can't just give it to you for free. All right. Just get that guy bloat off the wall up ahead. Then I'll give this sparkly thing to you guys. Those are, you know, the conditions of the trade. Wee. Uh. This Chocola Cola fizz seeps right into your bones. Uh. Uh. Don't you guys want to join me for some refreshing cola? Uh. 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 Come one, come all, have a look. Come see the pathetically inflated man. I really wish you guys hadn't told me this stuff. I really wish you guys had just fucked off and kept this, kept your stupid comments in your pocket about this goddamn franchise. He drank so much in Chocola Cola, he got stuck in this crack. Plus, he forgot where he left the bombs for blowing up walls. Can't nothing be done? Can't poor Bloat escape his fate? Can I do something? I have a hammer. Bombs? Hmm. I have fire. You just died from Bloat and Isaac. That's a good point. God, I wish that were me. Do you really? This is like the, the second, or the first time this happens in the series, but Bowser goes through the same thing in the third game. He gets stuck because he ate too much. <laughs> Getting stuck in a wall is a fetish too. Everything's a fetish, dude. Go upstairs to the left, gotcha. Sorry I to keep asking you, but did you receive the email I sent you? And can you make me a sandwich? I don't check my email every day, so I might not have seen it yet. I usually reply to stuff, so if I haven't replied, I probably haven't seen it yet. And also- No! Hold on, let me just save. Upstairs. You said upstairs and to the right? Upstairs to the left, gotcha. Upstairs and to the left. Alright, cool. Um... We just applied some emergency cleaning to that stinky old floor, so don't go boinging around on it. Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, shit! Sorry, bloat. Gonna have to put you down, friend. Fire. 
This is real fucked up. Look at this. Sorry, Sans. Sorry. See ya. Oh, that was sure... That sure was convenient. That it didn't fucking blow up anything else. Oh, no. I fucking want to eat the Chocola Cola in this game so bad. I think this is sand, but, you know. Maybe it is cola. I don't know. It's soda. Ugh. What's going on here? C Captain, it's the ocean. I it's an actual ocean. Oh, is the SS Chocola finally going to be afloat once more? I'd refuse to believe that this thing would still float. Nope. <laughs> there it goes. I need that. Hey! I haven't fought a boss in a while. No bosses? Hey, come back here. Hey! Hey! Get, get off. Can I not get up here? I just want to see what's up here. There's no bosses for a bit. It's weird. It seemed like we were running into a boss every fucking two minutes earlier. Have you fought Hermie yet? I don't think so. I don't really remember Hermie. Is he like a hermit crab boss? Thunder! Fire! I want to fight this guy. I can't touch him. I can't. He's invincible. This guy's fucking invincible. Hermie fully loaded. Starring Kelsey Lohan. He's a Christmas tree hermit crab. Oh, I remember that. I remember that. Kelsey Lohan is not a conspiracy theory, it's true. So please don't say it's not real. Luigi needs more HP. Maybe he doesn't, I don't know. No, he doesn't. Uh... Don't you fucking start with the Kelsey Lohan stuff, Michael. Explain how there were two of them in Parent Trap, then. Just fucking explain it to me. Because that movie was made before uh, special effects were invented. Thank you very much. Good night, Grim. What does Stash do? It's luck. It increases your uh, chance of crits and you get discounts in stores and stuff. The technology was not there yet. It's just, it's, it's illogical to assume that it was possible. I thought the parent trap was the Olsen twins. Nope. It was Lindsay and Kelsey Lohan. I didn't kill. There was a Disney remake for Parent Trap. Was there really? Hand is a great command name. Jump, hammer, hand. <laughs> it's good good. Wouldn't Luigi's Thunder Hand kill you? You'd think that Mario's Fire Hand wouldn't even work, but that they, do, they do what they want, dude. They chose Lindsay because she had bigger boob. No, no, no. Disney was, was unsatisfied with Kelsey Lohan's performance in The Parent Trap, so they killed her. And then they covered it up by saying that it, they used special effects to make it two of them. It's true. They said there wasn't enough room in Hollywood for them both, so they had to pick one. They, there wasn't enough room in Hollywood, guys. How do I get in here? Hey! 
On purpose? Yes! Take the bag off Luigi's head. Luigi's got- Luigi puts bags on our heads. She acted you a sweater of tears, and you kill her. Hey, d I didn't kill her. Blame Disney. Kelsey Lohan was murdered because Lindsay Lohan had a better performance in The Parent Trap, and then Disney covered her up by covered it up by saying Lindsay played both parts, and now her twin sister is dead, and she is running to Toke, and she's she is turning to Toke. I think you mean Coke. She's turning to Coke, and her parents are divorced. All right. The truth is out there. It's out there. Where's the graphic, Denny? I don't know. What the fuck is the parent trap? It was a good movie. Sun Bunny, the, the link you just posted was like cut in half. <laughs> what happened to that link? Hey! Toke is a thing, but I think he meant turning to coke. You don't usually say turning to toke. You have to copy paste it. Do you think I have the patience for that? Do you think I have the copy paste for that? I'm using it. Oh, I forgot how to use it. <laughs> Gotcha. Alright, I've been given... Oh, I'm gonna take the hit because I'm clicking on this link. Yeah, here's the graphic. It's proof if you if you don't believe me. There it is. See? I mean, would this image lie to you? I don't think so. I don't think so. Why don't Mario and Luigi level up at the same time if they fight all the same battles? They've been separated a few times throughout the game, and it kind of threw it, threw it off, which I'm not a fan of. I hate when that happens, but it happened. Would anyone on the internet lie about anything ever? I don't think anyone would ever tell a lie. You know what's fucked up is how they had Mary-Kate and Ashley play both... They both played Michelle in Full House. Like, that's fucked up. Like, I can understand doing it when they were babies, but then they, like, grew up and they kept playing the same character. What about Todd? Listen, we don't talk about Todd. This is a Todd-free zone. That's actually common. Yeah, but, like, even when they were older... What if they did that with adults? What if two people just played the same character? Just because. Was it me or did the babies and Partners in Time always have higher levels? It's fucked up to think about because the babies, like, as they level up, Mario and Luigi should also have leveled up. Do you guys ever think about how if, like, how dangerous it is to have baby Mario and baby Luigi in Mario Kart? What if there was a freak accident and one of them crashed and died? And then Mario would just, like, vanish. He'd, he'd disappear. If baby Mario drove off the track, God forbid, and landed in the chain chomp pit, Mario would vanish. I'm going backwards. I'm going the wrong way. Nobody would care. I think people would care if Mario died. Mike. That's a Game Theory video. Really? So now you're telling me Game Theory's stealing my content even before I say it? There's gotta be like a button or something. Ham no! <laughs> I hit hammer by accident! Why isn't Todd Howard giving his son the middle name Luigi? I don't know, dude. He must not like Nintendo. Would baby Mario be better if he had facial hair? 
I don't want to think about that. Alright, fuck that up. Aren't the baby bros different from the adult bros in the Mario Sports universe? Oh yes, in the Mario Sports cinematic universe, anything goes. Oh fuck, that was like a good one. I think I got in a fight once with someone who was claiming that, uh, when I was, like, young. Like, on my, one of my first internet fights. Someone was like, Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are Mario and Luigi's sons. And I'm like, no, they're not, idiot. I'm like, yes, they are. I'm like, no, they're not. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for someone in chat to say, yes, they are. Yep, there you are, Galbert. Don't, I'm not taking the bait. I'm not gonna take your bait. Ho ho ho! I think I gotta go up in here, maybe? Yeah, wait, no, I've been here. I'm not taking the bait! I'm not! I'm not taking it! Baby Luigi is Mario's son. <laughs> Miyamoto is Baby Mario's mom. I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. I, I feel stupid. Up there, up there. Okay, gotcha. No, there's a fire I have to light. You gotta, like, jump across that chasm. But I, th I think I have to... I have to go, like, this way, and you have to float across. Yeah, okay, gotcha. In this series, aren't the babies from the timeline with the shrubs while the normal bros are not? I'm pretty sure it's the same timeline. I just think that they went back and killed the shrubs before they could defect, like, the real... Listen, time travel isn't a thing for a reason, because it doesn't make no goddamn sense. Baby Mario and Baby Luigi are Mario... are future Mario and Luigi's adoptive fathers. Oh, okay. There we go. Because this makes sense. How do baby toads look like? I don't know. That's a good question. <laughs> it's the same universe. The shrooms are in Inside Story. There you go. I'm gonna... I think I'm... I think I'm dead. Oh, wait. No, I was up too high. I couldn't tell. Cheap, cheap. Are there Rip Van Fish in this game? Because Rip Van Fish scare the fuck out of me. Malibut. Toad poles. Toads start their lives as tadpoles. Called toad poles. This is off topic, but will you play a mystery dungeon game when you're done with this? Um, I'm probably going to take a little RPG break because I did this right after uh, Pokemon the Nuzlocke. So I'll, uh, but I do want to stream one. I want to do one very soon, but not too soon. Gotcha. Who are these guys? Starfy? What is, what is this doing? I got him. Well, these guys are fast. Aren't there child toads in Paper Mario? Yeah, there are. <laughs> there are. Most underrated, overrated cereal. Go. Why do I feel like we talk about cereal a lot? Oh, I fucked up. I was thinking about cereals. Also, it's really late because I started late tonight. Um, I don't know. 
I don't think there's... I mean, overrated... If, if you like something, you like it. I don't know. Can, can a cereal be overrated? Life cereal is good. We do talk about cereal a lot. I don't know why. Then what is an example of an overrated cereal? Cheerios? I think Cheerios is overrated. They ain't even that good. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. Cheerios, Cheerios are a little overrated. I don't know. Tiny Toast. I don't know if I've ever had Tiny Toast. I wish life was as good as Life Cereal. You want me to blow your mind? Life Cereal is a part of life. So, by default, isn't life as better by default than Life Cereal? Because life includes life cereal, you know? Getting real philosophical here. Pop-Tarts are cereal. How, how do you figure that? <laughs> how do you figure that? Please explain, elaborate. Pop-Tarts are sandwiches. We're not getting into this. Don't do this. Don't do this this sandwich debate with me. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Oatmeal is my favorite cereal. Oatmeal's good. I like oatmeal. Dinosaur egg oatmeal's the shit. Oh, I fucking thought I was doing the other one. Our hot dog sandwiches. There it is. There it is. Cereal is soup. All of you people, <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop it. I miss dinosaur egg cereal, uh, oatmeal. Isn't it still around? I don't think they got rid of it. Cake is salsa? I've heard cake is lasagna. Do you mean lasagna? <laughs> cake is most certainly not salsa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at soup! The only thing I don't like about this game is that sometimes it's kind of hard, well, it, only in this area, I guess, it's kind of hard to tell what things are, like, where things are in terms of space. Cereal is potato chips. <laughs> what do I do here? Oh wait, does Mario have to go inside? That's the wrong brother. Avocado is a condiment. Eh? This is already lit. I'm at soup! Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Fuck you! Why can't I go in? Why can't I go? Oh, is this a fire thing? Okay. Tums is an art supply. What? No, it's not. Tums is not an art supply. I guess it could be. You could make art using Tums as like a chalk. You know what they say. All toasters. Lettuce is solid water. I'm gonna gross people out and say that I like to eat lettuce by itself sometimes. No, no anything, no toppings. Just it's good. Love that crunch. Why was I getting an exclamation point there earlier? Love that crunch. Not like an apple. Like I don't go into the fridge to get lettuce, but if it's out as like a as like a condiment, sometimes I'll just grab some of it and crunch it. Guajar Lagoon. As long as it's not Iceberg. Listen, I'm not as deep into the lettuce fandom to be able to tell the difference between different brands of lettuce. 
Salad is leaf cereal. Really, is it now? Okay. I don't understand why you can't swim up there. You have to jump. Applesauce is scrambled apples. It is. Applesauce is delicious. Applesauce is fucking great. How much longer are you planning on streaming? Uh, I've only been playing this game for an hour, believe it or not. An hour and 15 minutes, so probably like another hour, maybe? Maybe I'll stop at two. Why is there a D in fridge when it's refrigerator and there's no D in refrigerator? Jimmy, thanks for the sub. Apple juice from Martinelli is the best. I don't know if I've ever had that. Do you guys ever think about the fact that there's a juice brand called Juicy Juice? Like, what the fuck type of name is that? It's like if you had a cheese brand called Cheesy Cheese. Salty Salt. Are these... Wait a minute. Lore. Wait a minute, lore. Wait a minute, lore. Wait a minute, lore. Wait a minute, lore. Lore alert! Lore alert! Lore alert! Lore alert! Lore alert! Please proceed to the lore bunker! This is not a drill! Lore alert! She has pink No, I'm not saying it's the same character, I'm saying they could be of the same, like, species. Cause what the fuck is Flurry? A wind spirit? What the hell is that? She could be one of these people. Hey, have you heard the no those rumors about Prince Peasley? Boy, I have. Let me tell you, he's running around hunting high and low for something. Yeah, the young prince is in a pickle. And that's no lie. I wonder if he'll come this way. Bet Luigi wishes that would happen. I bet Luigi wishes Prince Peasley would come in his pickle. You heard me. <laughs> That's like my favorite part of this game. I love Luigi and Prince Peasley. What the hell is this guy? You gotta hear this. I'm back with humonstrous news and incredib incredibling rumors. Oh, is it about that strange looking shining bean thing that fell from the sky? Wait, is that the one everyone's saying Hermie found? Yeah, the same Hermie uh, took the bean thing and decorated his shell with it. that That's the word, anyway. I heard he looks just like a festive holiday tree. Wow, cur crazy cool. Wait, we really should take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, that's a fantabulous idea. Let's go do it. Yeah. You two just lie there all day. You'll get wicked sunburned. Oh, worm? Wicked. This lady's from my my home, Boston. But Flurry is a rich person. But that has nothing to do with this. <laughs> what are you talking about? Wicked smart. I used to say wicked all the time. Giraffe still says wicked all the time. I still don't know the move for that. It's wicked doc. Wicked used to be, like, in my vocabulary big time. I stopped, though. Yo, Wicked Brothers. Dunkin' Donuts. 
Sirs, you're after GG. Oh, no, not these characters, please. I can't take this today. You're after Gigi and Mary, aren't you? The miracle hand massage of the tickled technicians Gigi and Marie. Wait a minute. Gigi and Mary. It's like almost like Callie and Marie. And they're like the same type of thing. Wait a minute. But words don't do it justice. You must experience it. Welcome, Twelvos. This is the relaxation room where you ease your weary body and spirit. Our massage masters use their miracle hands to give you a gentle, calming massage. 100 coins gets one individual a thorough, if brief, rub down. For the both of you, it would only be 200 coins. What do you say? Wait, that comes to 200 coins in advance. Thank you. It's a lot of fucking coins. Now then, you can sit on the chairs in that room and wait. Of course, they're red and green chairs. <laughs> oh, hey there. Welcome. How are you? Super. I'm Gigi. Oh my god, and Mary is even the green one. Now, let's get right to it. Show me where you're sore. Oh, show me too, please, because I'm Marie. And despite and I despise soreness. It's my sworn enemy. Damn, give me some of that juicy. Melt metal. I'm sorry, you're banned. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But come on, dude. Oh, look at this. Your hands are so very, very tired. And you too, this is awful. Your hands are so tired, they look ready to hot you're I'm wearing gloves though. We're wearing gloves! Don't worry, our miraculous hands will gently coax the weariness from you. Promise. Hmm. Oh, jeepers! What's this? Wowzers. I mean, double wowzer. You've mastered the fire brand? Oh my goodness, how shocking! You've mastered the thunder hand? You guys aren't ordinary travelers, are you? Aren't, aren't you too fascinating? As miracle hand technicians, we've mastered, uh, we're masters of hands like yours. Oh yes, that's so true, Marie. Mary, Mary or Marie? Um, I'm watching Sony E3 reactions and nobody knows what Monster Hunter is and keeps guessing it's Turok. Oh yes, that's so true, Mary. Why don't uh, with why with your hand powers you could even get those or get these? I don't know. Anyway, I've got to say, you guys don't need massages. Instead, we'll do you one better. We'll teach you two very special hand techniques. What do you say? Yes, I knew you'd say that. Let the lesson begin. We'll show you two guys two absolutely incredible techniques that'll make your hands magical. Those who don't listen will get left behind. Bye bye. They've been ready for this day. Your first green bean. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what we need to get past the big Koopa. Build up your thunder power with the B button. 
build it up, and then when you can't contain the electricity, when you're about to explode, press the B button. When you electrify the person in front of you with this move, you can use the control pad to both move the same path. Okay. Yeah, make him feel it. Right down the spine, baby. Make it stingly. Yeah, make it stingly. Send a big jolt of electricity racing down their back. Yeah. With electrical tickle power, you can push things with your back or walk from side to side. And now the time has come to use it. Are you exci excited? Great, try to bump into me with your back. Come on, bring it! This is fucked up. Nice, Yowzer, Wowzer! Wow, you're a tickle technician. It's your turn next, Red. Press start to change positions, okay? Press the L button to select the hand power. Fire! fire. Charge up your firepower with the B button. When you feel the fiery power build to dangerous levels, when you're about to ignite, release the B button. Ah, uh, yup! I feel like you could run that fast without having to light Luigi's ass on fire. <laughs> right down that spine. Tickle boldly with power! Make him feel tickle fever as it burns, burns, burns! Yeah, you can use this move to dash super fast or even knock stuff over. Feel the power of the Xbox One X! Super, then let's get you a little practice experience, practical experience. I want you to dash right into this rock. That's a cannonball. That's not a fucking rock. Like, Mario's running just as fast as Luigi. What exactly does lighting the fire do? Nice, super duper! Graphics pack for Minecraft. You're a tickle technician! Super, and that's all we have to teach you. Oh, Gigi! I know this is being super picky, but you're forgetting one thing. Oh, that's right. Of course, when you want to stop dashing, Turn in any direction other than the one you're facing, or just press the A button. Truly, this time, we've taught you everything we can. Now, then, now that that's done, I have a little job for you. That's right, Mary. We need you to use that technique to get the two pearl beans in this cave. Your power is much, much more powerful than ours. That's why you can get the two pearl beans. Listen, I don't mean to be a pill, but if you refuse, you'll have to pay for your lesson. It'll cost you 100,000 coins. Okay, all right, hurry, do it. We need both pearl beans. Yeah, woo, go, go! All right. Get the pearl beans. I don't mean to be pill. I haven't heard that one in ages. Oh, wait, I know how to do this. Nope. Wait, what do I need to do with it? What do I need to do with it? <laughs> Never mind, I don't know how to work it. Um, I probably have to push it. I probably have to push it. Hold on. Can you do a Jamaican accent? Ballad! Gotcha. Oops. Is that a, how is that? How is that for a reference? Here I come, I am Sydney Man. That's an old meme. That's an old meme. <laughs> Remember that video? <laughs> it's like a I don't even know what it's from. There's like this this girl, she's on like a talk show or something, and she's asked to do a Jamaican accent. And she like sits there and thinks for a second and makes the fucking dumbest face and says, Balegda. 
<laughs> like everyone starts to laugh. I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Uh, Guajajar Lagoon Bulletin Board. Serious flaw revealed in rolling bar defense system. It's possible for two infiltrators to slip between the rolling bars and walk sideways through the system. All right. Ballet. I wonder what she was trying to say. Oh, good. It runs out. Green pearl bean obtained. Oh, good, good, good. So good. A green pearl bean. Why are you mad? Next is the red pearl bean. Oh, get it, please. Hurry, quickly now. Couldn't a single person get through here easily? Yeah, <laughs> that defense system was specifically made to keep two people out that could not walk in unison. It was only made to keep out people that, that move like this. In a single file line. Oh, this teaches you. Ah, I like how the dash sound is still playing. How did that happen? You guys are no slouches. Glitch. It's it stopped. See you later, Connor. Yeah, we uh, the Nintendo's E3 starts in fucking 11 hours. I'm fucking excited. Holy shit. If you're watching this on YouTube and don't know what the fuck we're talking about, Nintendo's E3 2017 is tomorrow. And uh, if you're watching this in the future, you could probably laugh and say, ha, they have no idea how disappointing this is going to be. It's at noon, Eastern, so I uh, could probably just run through this. These fools have no idea how disappointed they're about to be. Oops. Red bean obtained. Yeah, my expectations are, are low now. I'm I'm I've tempered them. But I really don't know. I don't know what we're gonna get. I I just know we're gonna get a Mario Odyssey trailer that's gonna fucking blow my mind. But other than that, I don't know. I don't know, it could be anything. I wanted this so bad. Will Nintendo still talk about the Rabbids game? I don't think they'll do a whole lot with it. Oh, is, it, is that it? Their story's just over? I th I think that it's good they got it out of the way today. We'll probably... They'll probably mention it maybe once or twice if they, like, talk about upcoming games. But I don't think we'll see the trailer again, and I don't think they'll spend any time talking about it. We'll see it on the Treehouse, though. We'll definitely see some gameplay on the Treehouse, which I will definitely be watching. I'll be hosting the Treehouse also, and, like, popping in and out. To say, like, I'm not going to watch the whole thing with you guys, but it'll be up so you can chat there. We'll probably, I don't know if we'll see Fire Emblem for the Switch yet, but I think we'll see Fire Emblem Warriors and we'll get a release date. I think Fire Emblem Switch is still a ways off. Oh, how did that happen? You guys in the, oh wow, this sound glitch is like a thing that keeps happening until you hit Luigi again. Nintendo's E3 will start, and you'll get... Hi, it's Todd Howard! Fire Bros! Oh shit, new move! I gotta learn how to do this. Oh, this one's pretty simple. Pretty simple, pretty simple. Thunder Bros. Oh, wow, that's just three B buttons. That's not bad. Guys, this thing that we've just announced looks nothing like Metroid, but hear me out. <laughs> oh God, could you imagine? All right, what is, okay, here's, here's an idea. Here's a fun thing we can talk about. What is a realistic worst thing they could announce? Worst thing Nintendo could announce tomorrow, but is also realistic. 
Oh wow, this does no damage to them. I thought maybe it was doing no damage because I was on baby mode, but... Amiibo Festival Deluxe. Ah, Color Splash DLC. That's not... No, they won't do... That's not even remotely realistic. Mario Minion. Do you guys not know what the word realistic means? More Mario Sparts. <laughs> Mario Sparts. Mario Sports spinoffs that are half-assed. Yeah. A shitty online plan. I mean, kind of already... It's kind of already true. Federation Force 2? There was apparently a, a sequel tease at the end of that game. You wouldn't have said Mario Rabbids was realistic a month ago. You're true. That's true. That's true. But I think now that we have Mario Rabbids, I think it's unrealistic to expect Mario, uh... Wait, why the fuck? Do I have to knock him over? Just jumping. Um, I don't think we'd get a Mario Minions while there's a Mario Rabbids crossover going on. Animal Crossing Mobile rather than Switch. Well, we know there's an Animal Crossing mobile game coming. Mario Party 10 Deluxe. That could happen. No, it couldn't. There's no way you could play that game without the gamepad. The gamepad was like the main gimmick behind Mario Party 10. That wouldn't work. Unless they just removed the gamepad. What?! Yeah, you better fucking... Go. Boy, this sure sucks. Them saying they will continue support for the 3DS until 2019. They're gonna do that. Waluigi Pinball. What the fuck do you... Alright, these guys are fucking demons. These are demons. Also, what the fuck do you mean that would be a bad thing? What do you mean Waluigi Pinball would be a bad thing? Metroid Pinball 2. <laughs> uh... Why? What, the, what is the deal with these guys? Can you only damage them by jumping on them? Holy fuck, I hate these guys. I never said it would be bad. We were talking about bad things, though. Use a bro's jump attack? Okay. Well, I have been jumping on them, but I guess it's just not the right way. Turt twigs are assholes. There we go. These turtles are the worst enemies in the game, I swear. Alright, so other people have had trouble with these turtles too. And it's all because of those turtles! Alright, what if they spend... What if they, they do more... Wait, is Skylanders even still around? I was gonna say, what if they do more Skylanders crossover stuff? And like, give it a, give it a portion of their show. That'd be- that'd be cool. I'd like that. How did you save Mario? I thought he was beamed. Well, I don't know. I'm guessing 10 minutes will be dedicated towards mobile phones. Thankfully, I think they said that their spotlight is purely Switch stuff. Otherwise, I would be inclined to agree with you. But I think- I think we're safe. I don't think we're gonna be seeing any bullshit during that. Hopefully. Hopefully. New Mario and Sonic. Well, there definitely will be one, because the next fucking Olympics is in Japan. They'll definitely want to do a Mario and Sonic for that. Worst case scenario is more Rabbids news. I really don't expect anything more than just a brief mention. Save that for... Oh yeah, someone said to save Thunder Bros for bosses. But Luigi has regenerating BP anyway. They will spend th all 30 minutes talking about Nintendo Versus, and there will be no sign of Smash. One thing that is no that I've seen some people talk about, but I don't know if I necessarily think it means anything, is that Nintendo Versus Twitter account has, like, on their banner, they have space for three games, 
but there's only... I mean, they have space for four games, but there's only three. But I think that it's just, like, they just don't have the fucking third game because it's, like, where the user icon goes. I don't know. Mother 3 fucking F-Zero. Let's worry about getting Virtual Console before we worry about Mother 3. <laughs> because we still don't have Virtual Console and it's nowhere to be seen. Good fucking moves, Luigi. Good fucking moves. Another Kirby 3DS game. Oh, that's something that we'll definitely see, because they announced they announced before that there's like three Kirby games in development. Did they not like three multiplayer Kirby 3DS games? I think we'll see all maybe one or two or ten of those during the Treehouse. Are you looking forward to the fan-made Mother Four? I think it looks interesting, but they changed the name, didn't they? It's not Mother 4 anymore, is it? We talked about this the other day, I think. I'm gonna be sad if they don't say anything about GameCube Virtual Console. Listen, I'm saying this for your own good. Don't get your hopes up. Do you think they'll announce a new IP? So soon after ARMS? No. I don't want VC. I would prefer new games instead of ones I've already played. I don't see that because it's like it's not like you're getting them instead. It's not like virtual console games need to be developed by by the people that are working on like Odyssey and stuff. They're nice additions, but they're not replacements or anything. Ah, oh, you bitch! I need to heal Mario. See ya! Plus, being able to play some of those games on the go would be great. 25 minutes of Bill Trinan watching Brazzers. <laughs> oh shit, Mecha Blooper? Oh, that's what it's called too, holy shit. It has Torpedo Teds for legs, that's so cool! I don't remember this thing, this thing's amazing. What the fuck is face sitting? WTF. This move takes so long for the amount of damage it does. I think it leaves things with a burn though. They had like a little burn icon. I just want to use this because I want it to level up. Shit, a critical. The fuck out of here with your torpedo Ted bullshit. Uh. Do you guys think we'll see um, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC? Do you think that'll happen? Just as a discussion point, do you think that's something that could potentially make its way into the direct or whatever? No, nah, no. I'm not. I'm not feeling it either, but. I think PD will be DLC. Can you not say things like this? You make me upset. He looks like a sock. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I don't think I even really want... I mean, I wouldn't mind DLC as long as it's good. But I would prefer it if they started working on Mario Kart 9. I just want to level these up. That's why I'm using them so much. What if they add rabid PD? and not regular PD. Walrus, I want to ban you just for for bringing that to my attention. Use hand on the cheap cheeps. Electric is super effective on water. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. I want to level up these though. That doesn't even work. It only works on ground enemies, that hand bros move. I'll just use regular bros move, I guess. Save my baby boy Chibi Robo. I'm sorry to tell you this, but Chibi Robo's Chibi Robo's zip lash didn't sell well, so he's dead. He's gone. Mike, please stop reading my comments. I've been drinking. 
Well. Well, that's the only thing that makes me think there might be Mario Kart 8 DLC, or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe DLC. Because, like, that apparently is the best-selling or fastest-selling game in the franchise. It almost feels like it would be a waste not to do DLC. Gee, I wonder why Ziplash didn't sell well. Wait, do you think that maybe Nintendo was wrong to make a fucking chibi robo platformer? And then also wrong to judge the popularity of the franchise based around that platformer? 2D platformer? I'm actually really scared for tomorrow. I mean, I think we all get a little scared. <laughs> when it comes to Nintendo... Nintendo has done so many good things and so many fucking absolutely mental things. That it's just like, you never know. You never fucking know. I don't even know if they will do ARMS Amiibos. I'd love them, but I don't think... I don't know if... They're definitely not going to talk about Amiibos during their spotlight. I really think it's just going to be Switch games. I really hope it will be. Pikmin won't sell well, but they'll still make it because it's Miyamoto's child. Yeah, I've noticed that. Pikmin's got Hey Pikmin and apparently a Pikmin 4 in the works, which I still... I don't even know if I believe that. Um, but... Those games don't sell super well, but Miyamoto seems to just keep making them because he's Miyamoto. Be nice if, you know, they could make Metroid. Even though Metroid doesn't sell super well, it would be cool if that could still still get made. You know? Reggie fighting Iwata for that Smash thing was the coolest shit. Mike, the latest Better Call Saul episode is really good. Oh, fuck, I need to watch it. I am super into that show. That show is so good. Metroid is the new Sonic the Hedgehog. No, because Sonic still gets games. Someone I saw on Twitter... Or actually, no, this is a soft spoiler. Never mind. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to spoil it. I really, really, really want people to watch it, so... I'm not going to spoil nothing. But there was a Metroid game a year ago. I don't remember that. What are you talking about? Metroid does have a better track record than Sonic, in my opinion. I mean, if we're just talking about overall quality of titles, there's been far more Sonic games that I've disliked than Metroid games. Thirty minutes of Koroks, yahaha! Ha. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, that's another thing. Do you guys think they'll show? Um, do you guys think they'll show any Breath of the Wild Pack Two stuff? Like maybe a trailer or something? I kind of am not ready for that yet. Wait, why can I hit the cheap cheap now with that move? Is it because he's inflated? They will for sure. You think so? Because pack one is not even out yet. Is this Mike from PBS Ideas channel? <laughs> no, I don't even know what that is. I don't know. I'm just, I don't know. I loved Breath of the Wild. It was one of my favorite games ever, but I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready for more Breath of the Wild yet. Like, Breath of the Wild was their, like, main focus last year. I'm, I'm burned. I don't want more Breath of the Wild this year. Tomorrow for sure. Yeah, they, they only announced what was going to be in Pack 1, but they haven't shown any of it. Maybe they'll show some Pack 1 footage on, uh... During the Treehouse. So which mic are you? I'm, I'm the one that that plays baby games on Twitch. I feel like, yeah, that would fit, fit more with like a direct or something. Ugh. Another one of these damn security systems. Maybe they'll talk about Skyrim. I think they will do like a, 
like a fuck. I don't know if you, I want to call it a sizzle reel, but they'll like they'll say like, oh, here's all the games coming to the Switch, and they'll briefly touch on Skyrim and Rabbids, but I don't think they're gonna talk about either one extensively. Are you the mic from Red Letter Media? God, I wish. <laughs> I wish, dude. Am I almost at Hermie? Jesus. I was going to stop after Hermie, but we're still not there. Ugh. I hope Skyrim's not $60. Hey, Monty. I don't... I don't think you know the power of Todd Howard. I don't think you know who he is. If you told me Skyrim was either going to be $40 or $80, I would be more inclined to believe the $80. Are you the guy who made the statue of that David guy? Yes, that's me. I don't like that. It's like old work. Whenever I look back at my old work, like the statue of David, I just cringe. You know, I see I see my, my statue of David and it makes me cringe, you know? Someone put it in a cringe comp. Thanks. Sun Bunny said something really sad today. She said that sometimes on the first day of a month, she wakes up and thinks about the funny Vine compilation that there will be, and then she remembers that it won't be there. That's sad. No. Top 10 Renaissance cringe. <laughs> Mike, what if they put a rabbit in Smash or Mario Kart? Don't even. I'm, I'm genuinely afraid of that. I think that uh, if they announced, like, Smash Deluxe, they wouldn't call it that because Melee is Deluxe in Japan. But if they announced Smash for Switch, and they like did DLC characters to, to go along with the modern Switch titles. I'm afraid it would be like Springman, Inkling, and Rabid. I'm not even kidding. What the hell? Look at these assholes. Jeez, Boomerang Bros sure have changed, haven't they? Holy shit. How do you feel knowing Miyamoto has rabid figures on his desk? I never know how I feel about that man. Miyamoto is an enigma. I have a question, what the fuck is Mixer? During the Microsoft conference they kept having pop-ups that were like, Don't worry if you couldn't get into the Mixer, the Mix Pod is still open. What the fuck is a mixer? People were saying it was a streaming service? It's a streaming service. I wonder how Twitch felt about them advertising a different streaming service on Twitch. Is this healing him? Wait a second. That's healing. Luigi, stop! Why do they get healed by fire? Kevin, Kevin, watch the mixer, dude. Why, why did that make me laugh? Is my fucking quality for humor that low? <laughs> come on, man. How come you don't want me, man? Didn't you know turtles eat fire? Oh, right. Bowser, fire, gotcha. Yeah, I don't think Mixer's a very good name. Neither is Twitch, though. Why would you... Twitch is like a thing that you do when you're like... Your body twitches. It was originally called Beam, but now it's called... Cookie Mixer. Cookie Mixer? I just heard Mixer. What the hell is a Cookie Mixer?
Twitch is better than Justin. Yeah, Justin was a weird name. Justin TV. Hey guys, did you ever hear that one about uh, Britney Spears and when she found her boyfriend? Just in time. Just in time. Justin Timberlake. Bringing it back. Bringing it back. Fucking just in time, baby. Yeah. You know, I gotta keep telling that joke because every time I tell it, chances are it's someone's first time hearing it, you know? It's getting too late for this shit. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is. My sides. I'm weak right now. LMAO. Look at that. See? Sponge Cake loved it! He loved it! It was my first time hearing- you're- you're- you've got a gold badge and that's the first time you've heard me tell that joke? Spin blocks. If you hit these blocks- oh, I see. I remember this, kind of. Hmm. Let's go! Is this just a shortcut back? Star Maker, I'm sure people are jealous of you that you've been here for this long without hearing that joke. People wish they could unhear this joke. How come I can't get over there? I only subscribe because I feel bad for Mike. That's what I'm going for, dude. Pity subs. <coughs> I'm sick. Worst case scenario for Nintendo tomorrow. We talked about that a couple minutes ago, actually. We were just talking about, um, you know, like, what the most realistic disappointments could be. And, I don't know. I just think they could waste time. The, the worst thing they could do tomorrow is waste time during their 25 minutes on, on garbage. I only subbed because Mike promised he'd get the subs pizza. I did no such thing. I just made the same error twice. See you later, Jelly. But Mike, you did. When? Show me the receipts. I remember this. Send me the receipts. I don't remember it. Nothing that happens at E3 will affect Switch sales. I don't care about that. I care about my own selfish desires for the Switch. There we go. There we go! You know what they say, guys. The proof is in the pudding. Direct me towards this pudding. And I, and I will uh, believe you, but I don't believe you. How mad would you be if in the new Smash there was a rabid King K. Rule? Why, why do you gotta say this? Remember, normies don't watch E3. Well then why do they put all the sports in it? Alright, speaking of Smash, let's address that. Oh fuck. Um, how many of you guys think we'll see Smash in any capacity tomorrow? Be it I'd Smash 5, which I mean I don't think is likely at all, or uh, a Switch Deluxe version. What, what do you guys think? No, 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 I don't know. Hmm. One. No, I do. Most people are saying no, but I could, I could, so some people are saying yes. Possibly a port. I just think, I think Pokken really, why did, I pressed it really fast that time. All right. I think Pokken made me think that it's not going to happen. I think Nintendo's got their competitive games for right now. It seems they've got ARMS, Splatoon 2, and uh, Pokken as like the three pillars of their competitive scene, or whatever.
their fucking esports ass. It's actually been three years since Smash came out. A new one wouldn't be weird. I guess. Man, that's so weird. I'm not used to Smash 4 being three years old. But I do think it might be a little early for, for Smash. Why did I hit it? I still killed him. Are you gonna buy the rabid figures for 40 bucks a pop? Is that how much they're going for? Boy! I was wondering why they're not amiibos, but it's because they want to charge 40 bucks for them. Now it all makes sense. Are they only making figures of the Rabbids too? Like, are there no Mario Brothers figures? The last DLC was in 2016, right? Yeah, I think we got Bayonetta, like... Well, no. We got Bayonetta... When did we get Bayonetta? Bayonetta and Corrin came at the same time, didn't they? Ubisoft doesn't own Mario, so no. But they're using his clothing on the characters, so they must have, like, the license to make figures using Mario assets. I don't know. I don't actually under- Cody, I'm with you. I don't even understand why these rabbits are dressed up like the Mario characters. You know, like, if they wanted to make eight unique heroes, as they stated, why would they make each of the characters, like, have a counterpart? You'd think they'd at least try to, like, come up with four unique rabbits. Ugh. They have a, they have a Yoshi rabbit. Oh, I, I'm, I'm aware. I have a realistic prediction. Fire Emblem characters in Smash. I could see, all right. Presentation opens. You get the, you, we get that, that sweet that we haven't seen in years. It's time, a new Smash Brothers trailer. It's the protagonist of Fire Emblem Heroes. On, on mobile devices. They're here. To now smash alongside Nintendo Legends. Corin Rabbit, baby! <laughs> Which one? All of them. I don't know how many there are. All of them. All of them. Man, there's sure a lot of fucking battles. I don't know why I always do all the battles. I don't really need the experience, but... Unlike Kim. Kim needs the XP. I said this was going to be a shorter stream, but I'm, I'm, I'm going on four hours soon. Dynamoto, I'm with you. I'm with you. I don't know if I would prefer that over Metroid. But, I want Retro to finish their trilogy with a Kremlin game. I really, really do. This is worse than ARMS V-Ball. Don't say that. You don't know what you say. I just got this new stream on the weekend. What are you talking about? Mario and Rabbids has no business having Rabbids. Wait a minute. Are you saying you, you want Mario and Rabbids to come out and be called Mario and Rabbids, but just no Rabbids? I mean, I'd be fine with a Mario XCOM game, but I mean, <laughs> I think it's kind of the point of the crossover. Mario and Rabbids should have no Rabbids. I just opened up a fortune cookie and there's no fortune. What the fuck? All right, well, that could be a curse. I bet there's, like, some superstition about that. See you later, Shilk. Ugh. Ugh, I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Ten hours and five minutes till, till D-Day. 
Decision day. Divorce. I want Luigi to be fast. Sand sharks. Oh, they're just cheap cheeps. Man, this this area of the game is fucking exhausting. Wait, why does he have a fucking sh bone shark now? What? Oh, is one of them a shark and one of them a cheap cheap? Oh, they. Sw oh, I see what I see what that's a clever enemy. I'm surprised at how much of this I don't really remember. <laughs> You've made your Mario almost as tanky as Luigi. Yeah, you know me. Oh shit, that killed one of them. Level up! Tutto ripeto! Oh yeah! Mario, my friend, you're not in good shape right now. Is this a Nuzlocke? Yeah. Yep. Oh! Got him. That was on purpose. The question mark enemies have an official name, it's just not in the game. Really? Bone Shark. Oh, Mario just got fucking killed by a boomerang. Oi, Dan. Mario. That is lore. Yeah. Hey, you died. <laughs> yeah, Nuzlocke canceled. Guys, it was Destiny Bond. It doesn't count. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I was out of battle for like one sec- less than a second! <laughs> Just run? No! <laughs> no, I can't- alright, I'm gonna run. Oh, fuck me! They're Kingfin from Mario Galaxy's relatives. Oh shit. <laughs> what if it was purple? It is too late to be memeing and you guys are still going pretty hard. I'm glad Toaster Man's not here because I know that I just passed by a bean on the right of the screen. Heal Mario. I'm, I'm good. I don't need healing. Doesn't this heal me? Come on. Give me a heal. Aw, oh, it's a heart though. You fool. They're apparently called Sand Cheap and Shark Bones. Huh. Huh. How far away is Hermie? Because he needs to be here, because I need to be done. Not that I don't enjoy the fuck out of this game, but I need to sleep. I need to mentally prepare for tomorrow. I loved Starfy when it. I, I played. The only one I've ever played was the one they released here in the States. Remember when Starfy was Staffy? Oh, well. Oh, no. Why do I remember that? Because when Starfy was first revealed on the, the Brawl Dojo, it, he was called Staffy. And I think that's just because translation, like Staffy, you know? But it, he was listed as Staffy for a while. Sans cheap. What are you talking about? Sand cheap. Whew. The endurance. My fucking endurance is pretty low right now. Staffy. There's a poster of him in this game that says Staffy too. Yeah, I think it's just because they didn't, like, think about it. I don't know. Oh, this won't hit the cheap cheeps. Why am I doing this? What was the name of the clam in Starfy? Mo? Was it Mo? I loved that guy. He was great.
I don't know why I think it's Mo. Is that right? It was Mo. Okay, cool. Yeah, he was good. He was good. I want Mike to turn into an all Hearthstone stream. Well, your dreams coming true. I'm back, boyos. Welcome back, Happy Pumpkin. Happy Pumpkin has so many alternate accounts that I can never tell. I think everyone could be him. Who knows? Grass, I am so beyond. <laughs> I'm so tired. I don't care who gets hit anymore. <laughs> can you just advance this move? You fucking Mario. We've used this move eight gorillion times. When does it fucking advance? You've hit every month. Well, I've been hitting them on purpose. That's kind of what I do. <laughs> I don't know. It, whenever I play a game like this, I always go for every battle. I rarely leave monsters unfought. But there's a lot of fucking monsters. Wait a minute. Are those like... Wait a minute. Didn't really think about that. What are those that they're shooting at me? Because those are like sleeping fish and they look like... What is, what is that? Don't forget about the Thunder Bros advanced move. Oh yeah. These things are shooting piss bubbles. No, I was, I was thinking... I was, I was thinking other stuff. You know, just knowing this game. Pillows. All right, yeah. Going up. We have to be done. Oh, wait. Nah, they're farts. Okay. All right, I'm about done fighting everything I fight. I'm about done fighting everything I fight. I'm done. This is the last battle I'm doing. I'm gonna be fucking OP. It's a joke about wetting the bed, but then why did they come out in bubbles? How many times do you have to do this before it advances? Oh, I guess you have to succeed the move, and I kind of fail it a lot. If Mario Rabbids does well, yes, continue. Is there ever going to be a Minions Rabbid crossover? I don't know why Mario Rabbids would, would affect that. Remember when Wario was in Starfy 4? Was he? It's been ages. It says here that you roasted the Panute subreddit. Is that true? I have never been there. <laughs> I have never been there. Come on, come on, come on. Just fuck. Look, there's so many enemies. Holy shit. Alright, from now on, I'll only fight enemies that I run into. Like, by accident. I didn't let go of the buttons. Watch, if you fall down here, do you have to fucking repeat that whole sec section? Bun Bun, I'm glad you're here, but we're, we're almost done. But thank you for joining. I think we're, I think the boss is up here and then we're, we're done. I don't know, try it out. No. It feels like chat's further behind now than it was at the beginning of the stream. You are stealing my nuts. I didn't even say that on purpose. That just that just came out. I saw the word nut. Mario crossing over with the rabbits is like Mickey Mouse crossing over with the minions. That's actually a a perfect comparison. Is there actually more? Wait, I thought that was it. It's one more? Holy shit! Because Mario is like the Mickey Mouse of video games, and Minions... And Rabbids are the, the Minions of video games. 
That's very, very, that's a very good comparison. I have, I can do it. I can fucking do it. Where is it? This one isn't very long. Where is it? Which section? Is that it? Did I get that one? I don't think, did I, yeah, I got that one. I got that one. Don't fight the enemies this time. It must be here, right? I think it's... I think I gotta somehow... Can I, uh... If Nintendo is the Disney of video games, who is the DreamWorks? Sega? I don't know. I don't know, that's a good question. No, I can't. I did this already. Ubisoft? Eh. What are your thoughts on the beach music in this game? It's fucking great, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's good. Mike, where are you going, noob? Listen, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. And it's all- I'm very, very tired, too. I just want to beat the boss. It's not this way. I came from this way. I can't break these. Hmm. Hmm. Go left. But didn't I come from that way? No, I, I'm not going to save and stop because we're right at the boss. This way? Left from the save point. Okay. All right. You came... All right. All right. All right. So this way? But then I come from here? <laughs> I came from here. Check the map, goof. But I don't know which... Oh, fuck, I don't know where... <laughs> I don't know which ones I've been to. This one? I did this one. More left. I just was here. I just did this. I just did this. Oh no. oh no! All right, this isn't it. Right, listen, we need to. They need to stop. Stop! <laughs> stop! I can't even run because Luigi's down. <laughs> Go back a screen and go down. I just came from there. Might as well finish them off now. Look at the beach map, not your suitcase. All right, all right, all right. Passed by that a couple times. Get the fuck away from me. Wait, so is that area under... Okay, those are underwater areas. And I'm right there. So you're telling me to go to which area? This one? I'm gonna go down. Mike, I'm getting a Switch so we can finally m play Mario Kart 8. Yes. Well, well, we'll do another tournament soon. I haven't done one in a couple days. Wait, what's this? Eh? <laughs> Come on, come on! <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. Oh, this is turning into a shit show. I mean, implying it wasn't already. But, you know, it's that time. It's two in the morning. That's <laughs> uh, great! Go, Luigi, go, Luigi, go! That's gotta hurt his peenie, you know? Did 
Did you know if you turn off the game console, you win? Remember how in the instruction manual for WarioWare Mega Party Micro Games for the GameCube, Wario gave you a tip on how to beat your friends at the game and he said, unplug their controllers? Wario's such an asshole. That probably could have damaged the heart. Like, Nintendo <laughs> probably shouldn't have told you to unplug your controllers mid-game because, like, just in case it damaged your console or whatever. <laughs> what if it was purple? What if Nintendo announces a new Golden Girls game tomorrow? I think there's someone making a Golden Girls RPG. I've seen that floating around. Luigi, just fucking, I don't know, health. I'm too tired to care. Get a five. You fucking piece of shit. What are they gonna do? Sue Wario? <laughs> I don't know, dude's got a lot of coins. You know what I'm saying? This again? This again? Luigi, just put the bag on my head. Eh? Wait, is this a is this a float? Do I have to f rotate? Whew. Do I only have six seconds to get this? Cause there ain't no way I'm doing that. What the fuck? I'm sure I had to f fire across here, but like. Yeah, I have to... Alright, I could have made it if I used fire. I thought it was further away. Alright, well I can do it this time. New Wario game premise. Wario is sued out of all of his money and goes on an adventure to get more to pay off his debt. Well, that could be the plot of the fucking Wario and Waluigi partners in crime. If they ever did it. I sped. I sped up. Gotta be fast. Gotta, gotta be fast. Gotta be fast! What if Nintendo announces that they bought America during the Direct? I don't... I think of all the things that are not gonna happen. That's not even on the list. That's pretty likely. I think that's a good prediction. New emote idea. Not like this. Like, not like this. That's a good idea, but unfortunately, all the emotes have to start with Panutes. Because that's my, 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 my tag. Please. Ugh. Oh. I like how you have to do this just to walk backwards. Like, Luigi, just walk backwards. You don't have to electrocute Mario. <laughs> Finally! Alright, let's go fight this boss. Alright. Now listen, I'm very tired. This boss fight is not gonna go well. Where am I? This way. You said you wanted a dancing emote. Any ideas? I don't know. I don't know. I was just, I was just, you know, just a thought. All right, let's go. Don't save YOLO. All right, nope. I was just saved. I saved. I'm doing it. There's Hermie. This guy reminded me of a Banjo character the first time I saw him. Kind of looks like what's the the crab on on uh, on uh, Treasure Trove Cove? Nipper. Um, how's that feel, Hermie? Like the look of it? Oh, I get a good feel from that. Yes, I do. <laughs> he is a lisp. Huh? Who are you? Have you come to help me decorate too? Why, red clothes and a mustache. Even that means... C could you be... Santa Claus? Why is there a Christmas boss in this game? Hermie, what is it? Oh wow, on closer inspection, I see you have red clothes and a shiny mustache. Could you be... 
Thanks, Christmas. Wow, that jump. Pow! Then it's true. It's true. You're Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom. Stupendular. Mario of the Mushroom Kingdom is here. Party on. This is no time to be decorating. Whoa, it's true. It's true. Can I touch your mustache? That jump. It's gloryful. Grandular. I cannot wait to brag to everyone I know. This rules. <laughs> He's joining in. Oh, my decorations. Huh? Oh, you must be the president of the Mario fan club. No, wait. Just a second. Green clothes. Mustache. Hey, any chance that you're the famous brother who always gets left behind? Luigi? Are we lucky or what? How old are you? What's your sign? And your hat size. I wish he answered that question, how old he is. Okay, what's your... Okay, your waist. Favorite snack? <laughs> the decorating stopped. And it's all because of you. If you want to cause trouble, then you're, a, then you're stupid. Oh, okay. This guy's a dick. Come on. What do you mean? Come on. Don't be like that. Ugh. They always... Hermie the third? <laughs> what happened to Hermie the first and second? Mrs. Puff? Oh, she's married. Oh no, Mr. Krabs, she's single. What happened to Mr. Puff? She doesn't like to talk about it. Hey, that's one of the crabs from uh, Mario... Le Mario Brothers. How frustrating! It's time to speed things up! That was a really fucked up moment. Oh, I forgot I had the advanced version of this move, and I just failed it because of that. I don't know why I, like, hit the button when I realized it, but... Gotcha. 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 Is he, like, powering up? Is that what that red thing is? Remember on Oho Oasis when you killed those two crabs? Those were his father and grandpa. <laughs> Tying it all together. I just realized that the star piece on top of his shell is supposed to be, like, the star on top of a normal Christmas tree. I mean... Yeah, yep, that's it. He's using my god dang star beam as a goddamn Christmas decoration, Denny. Um, all right, let's do let's do slow mode so we can see what the uh, new advanced version is. Oh shit! Oh fuck! A thunder uppercut. That's cool. I like how much of this game feels fresh to me. This guy is a reference to the Christmas Island Crabs. I don't know what that is. Thunder Uppercut. The heart piece looks like a Venus. Listen, I said that. I've seen several people in chat say that. I know. <laughs> I know it looks like a Venus. Mike, why don't you know anything besides Nintendo games? Because that's all that matters, you know? Oh, wait, I don't need to do baby mode again. I actually want to do the non-advanced version, though, because I think it'll hit everything. Like all the- yeah, the claws, too. I want that. This guy's really not hard to dodge at all. Yeah, I also know Spongebob. Pre-movie. I just wanna- I wanna level this up. I'm- I'm gonna keep using it. It's a decent amount of damage. Seven damage a hit. It adds up. It adds up. 
That's a kill. He's dead. He's dead. There's no way he's surviving this. Really? Wow. Wow. Thunder Bros. Strike! Mike, are you gonna get an Xbox One? I got it eventually for Ghoulies. Oh, he's it's broken. That's sad. I'm sorry. You gotta use... You gotta damage his claws first. Then when he goes into his shell, use fire on him. Alright. Okay. I can do that. See ya. What is this? Bubbles? Yeah, I thought I did over a thousand damage too because of the way the numbers were lined up. I saw that. He's not going in his shell. Thoughts on the Sony conference? I joined late. Um, I could I could restate it briefly. Um, I thought it was good. Sony always has a really solid conference. I was very, very tempted to buy a PS4, finally, because of Monster Hunter Worlds, and then I found out that it was on PC, too. So, uh, now the only real exclusive they showed off that was interesting to me was, um... Or interested me, like, personally, was, uh, fucking Shadow of the Colossus remake. But I've played that game so many times. I'm not gonna buy a PS4 just for that. Well, it's not a, like a traditional Monster Hunter game. It's it's like a very different looking one, but yeah, I'm still excited about it. Are you going to get an Xbox One S then? They're cheap now. Yeah, I, I won't get the X. Um, please excuse Hermie. He's a little kooky. Gee, I'm sorry, fellas. Guess we were in the wrong. Anywho, I'm sure you two just must have had some reason for coming here. Huh? The bean thing on the shell. Well, whoop ti doo What's so important about that thing? Wow, did you hear that, Hermie? Uh, is that so? Then I suppose I'll have no choice. Why does he have a lisp? Bean star! You got a bean star piece. Only three more to go. Well, whoop ti doo after decorating things so well, too. But we tried so hard. What? You're leaving already? I don't see why you can't stay and relax, personally. Superstars are busy people, I'm sure. That's where they got the title from. This, this girl right here said Superstar, and they were like, we need to make this the title of the game. If you're going back, this way should be a shortcut. Oh, I think I'll take a shortcut. Alright, let's save and be done. Where's save block? Also, you know, something that we didn't even bring up when I was talking about Nintendo E3 predictions, and it's very, very relevant to this. Um, I think tomorrow, during the treehouse, we will see Super Mario... Super... I mean Mario and Luigi <laughs> Superstar Saga Deluxe. DX. I think we will see that tomorrow. I genuinely do. And I don't think it's going to be at their presentation. I think it's going to be during the treehouse. So, if you've been enjoying this stream and are looking to get into the game, you might want to wait. I don't know. I think we'll see it. I do. I think we'll see it tomorrow. Mike, I think you're tired. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely think that's happening. So... But that's it for the night. Holy shit. That was a long stream of this, too. Two and a half hours. All right. Well, let's do art. You want to do art? Let's do art. I need some Mario and Luigi music. No, I need some Mario and Luigi music. Um, go in the pipe to be able to fast travel. All right, remind me next time. Oh, shit. I just typed Superstar Saga on, on YouTube. And my first Let's Play is, like, one of the first results. Or, <laughs> Let's Play stream. I guess it is a Let's Play. Whatever. Uh, the first stream is one of the first results. I don't know if that's just because it's me and it's, like, tailoring the search results to my own interests. But uh, that's pretty cool. 
pretty nice. I like that. That's good. Um, all right, let's. What music should we listen to? Let's listen to this. Yeah, we made it, boys. We're one of the first results when you search Superstar Saga on YouTube. This is it. This isn't really art music, but I'm doing it because I like it. I think it prioritizes things you might be interested in. That's where you're wrong. There's no way I'm interested in my own content. It's shit. Okay, let's scroll on down. Um, oh no, I saw something that's very cursed. Make sure Sun Bunny's around for that. Um, uh, Alright, I think this is the beginning. I think. Wait, all right, yeah, I'm four hours ago. Um, all right, so this first thing is a meme by Happy Pumpkin who said, you made me do this. No one made you do this. <laughs> no one made you do this. You did this. Um, this is by... Riyazaki. Um, first time drawing from 3D model reference. I posted two because I'm conflicted on the eyes. Which do you like better? Well, let's take a look. These are great, first of all. Um, I like it a lot. I, uh, I don't know. I like the, the left eyes is more like... I usually draw eyes like more oval shaped than circle. I'd go with left. I'd go with left. But that looks great. Really good. Really good. Um, this is by Happy Pumpkin again. No one's making you do this, Happy. <laughs> no one's making you do this. Um, this is by Jeff. Oh, fuck. Now this is my kind of game. <laughs> oh, Grimbuscula, you beach. <laughs> uh, this is by Sketchcraftian. Three things. This stuff's good. Look at this. Not stream related, but it's still cool. Very cool. That's a fucking troll. Is that a troll? A troll is a creature. It's good. Very good. Your stuff is always amazing. No, this is the thing I wanted Sun Bunny to see. This is by Mapu. Ugh. Um, this is by Gilger Jeff, I think. G I L G E R M E or G E F F J E F F. I butchered that. Uh. This is a, a spiny shy, spiny sniff it. I'm tired. Sorry if this looks like shit. I'm rusty at art. Love your stream. This is cute. I love this. This isn't rusty. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful baby sniff it boy. It came out good. I like it. This is by JJ Gravity. My little cousin drew this. This is good. <laughs> How old is your little cousin? This is impressive. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah, Osukiyomi, send this to me afterwards. Um, a BRB I'm working on. Hold on, now I have to, I have to open this up in Firefox. Hold on, give me a second here. This is by Osukiyomi, it's a BRB with uh, additional work by, uh, additional artwork by Clockwork Willow. This is a good JoJo. Good JoJo. <laughs> I love this. This is great. Look at this. This is amazing. <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> That's so good. The emotes replace. <laughs> That's a good detail. That's good. 
Why are Toaster Man's stats so high? <laughs> That's very quality. Very quality. Thank you. Um, next up is this drawing by Sebi Chu. Really fucking well done. Sebi's art is amazing. Really well done. Looks really great, as always. Fucking amazing. Fucking great. Um, this is by Zinnia. Ugh. 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 Why are they dressed up like Louis? Why are they- why did they come out of their whatever portal dressed up like Mario characters already? Ugh. Ugh. This is by Schmitty, who says, forgive me, I have sinned. Peasley Coon. Peasley Coon. Peasley Coon! It's accurate. This is by Derpty. Um, Return of the Panoodle Doodles with kids. I did mine with the kids, and the other one was by a student on her own. Oh god, I loved these. I missed these. I missed these. These are great. These are so cute. I love these. Thank you. Really, really nice. Um, Osukiyomi posted this. More proof for non-believers. Not the same hair. Yeah, yeah, that's, you know, their hair is completely different. <laughs> yep, okay. Rest in peace, Kelsey. Um, these are some cool sketches by Dynamoto. These are cool. These are cool. These are really cool. I like these. That one at- wait a minute. That one at the top looks kind of like a bug from these this series of kids books that I used to read as a kid. They were like about bugs. There was like bugs in space and bugs in that go bump in the night. It looks like that. Hold on. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? Bugs in space. You guys know what I'm talking about? This. He looks like he looks like them. See? He looks like them. I loved that book. Um, this is by... Uh, Viri. Uh-oh. This is real good. This is real good. These girls need to come back in Mario. They need to come back. Bring them back! Uh, this- that came out really good though. Really, really nice. This is by Heartless Spade and a picture of Bird. Because, you know, first the bird. Very, very good bird. Um, and then this. You can't say fuck in front of your parents? I'm sorry, you can't say that. <laughs> this, stuff, this is really well done. Again, if you missed the Left 4 Dead stream last night, you need to watch it. It was so good. It was so good. I really recommend it. Uh, that's it. That's it. All right. So, tomorrow is, is the big day. It's the big day. I will host the Nintendo stream on my Twitch channel. So be there or be square, and we will, we will talk in art. We will talk in chat, not art. I am so tired. We will talk and chat together. It will be fun. Um, if you want to catch up on streams you've missed, including all of the past Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga streams and the Left 4 Dead stream from last night, uh, they're all on YouTube at youtube.com slash C slash Gaming. And if you want to be notified when I'm about to start streaming, because I always... I'm looking inside of a pen right now, and it's really cool. Like, I can see all of the ink... How the fuck do these work? What? Did, how did? Where did they get? How did they think to make pens? How did they think this?
What do you th who do you think invented pens? This is weird. This is fucked up. Oh, um, you can follow me on Twitter at Mike Panutes and Tumblr at Panutes. Okay. Good night. I'll talk to you later. Have a great E3. Have a merry birthday. Bye.